Hey guys, welcome back to this week's episode. Yeah, as you may have seen, I have got a, a good stack of boxes in this week. Uh, it's the package from Mattel uh, that arrived. So these are all um, RLC cars or Mattel Creations cars. Um, I did conclude the trade uh, that I started off um, last week, um, in last week's episode. But uh, So I did receive the item, but I'm going to save that. Uh, for next week, I'll keep you in suspense for, for just a little while longer, uh, mainly because I want to get rid of all of these boxes on my desk. Uh, so I'm going to do the unboxing of these today, uh, and then I can tr throw the throw the cardboard away, uh, and we'll quickly run through the items. Um, so yeah, all of this uh, from Mattel. Um, so um, yeah, all RLC or um, Mattel creations. Uh, purchases. Uh, they, I see that some of the boxes are the newer shaped ones. Uh, for those of you not not familiar, they usually ship them in like these standard, uh, like a standard size box that that just about takes a, uh, a standard card um, uh, in a protector, and then they usually toss in just a bubble, um, one of those bubble pillows uh, for protection. They recently swapped to these sort of um, folded, that sort of fold and stick close um, these these boxes. Um, Jerry's still out in that. They seem to, to also hold the the singles firmly in place, but when it comes to the wider cards, uh, they're just tossed into the box loosely. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, first item is actually sort of a last minute purchase uh, i had hoped that it would still make this shipment uh, and it did they, they Mattel shipped them um, almost immediately um, and and it turns out to be quite quite a nice little item um I, for those of you that follow me on instagram um i, I did a post about this when when it was uh, when it was revealed uh, just before the release date um this is the uh, elite 64 the porsche 928 safari so that's sort of a, an off-road Porsche 928. So the Elite 64s are these um, ultra-detailed um, uh, little cars. Um, they, the, the ones that they've done so far, I've, I've not liked the, the deco on them. The, the car selection has been okay. Uh, this is number 7. So, so there has been quite, quite a few releases. Um, you can go and check out the RLC site. Uh, most of them are still in stock. So I, I don't think they, uh, the quantities are that limited. You can probably get most of them still. Or at least the last three or four. Um, there's a Land Rover uh, Defender. There's that Audi in sort of a flat grey. So you'll see with these that they aren't, uh, they're not like, um, club cars or, or RLC drops, they're not, um, they're not spectra flame paint, they're just uh, sort of very highly detailed um, main lines if I can put it like this, but this one caught the eye, this is something a little bit more exciting. The others tended to be a bit boring, um, it was, it, it, they, they seem to look like, or they tend to look like just main line cars, but they get the premium treatment, um, and this one really, really stood out for me. Uh, there's going to be a, oh, I don't want to be, get this wrong, but I think there's a, there's that uh, type, was it the Type 58 um, Bugatti that's going to be dropping at the end of the month. Um, I'll insert a picture, I have seen a picture in the meantime, that that could be interesting as well. Um, but yeah, this, this um, and for the price, they, they're $20 each at the moment. Um, and I, th I think it's well worth it. It's it's. Th I mean, this thing gets the full premium treatment, highly detailed. Uh, some of them have got opening parts um, or removable parts, so that the, so the hood comes off or the or the boot comes off or doors open. Um, I don't think this one. Uh, uh, I don't think this one has an opening anything, um, but uh, that's, that's that's just a bonus, I suppose. But uh, yeah, I like these. I think this was well worth the well worth the money. Um, it's a it's a good. It's it's sort of I I, I believe this is um, Hot Wheels uh, version of um, uh, or, or or their answer to to the other brands like the Green Lights and the um, the Inno sixty fours 
uh, the, the ones that have the the more detailed models. I, I think this is this is their way of of uh, combating those those lines. But uh, yeah, really like this item. Actually, might pick up one or two more. Um, these these might um, trade well as well. Um, so yeah, comes in a comes in those new wide wide protectors as well. Official. Uh, I can hold it against the light. It has the Hot Wheels logo embossed on it as well. So these official uh, premium sized uh, protectors as well. Okay, so that's item number one. I'm just going to move the across the box. Put that out of the way. Uh, and then I just want to check two of them because two of them are the same. I'll get them up. Yeah. Okay, so these two are two identical items. No prizes for guessing what they are. Twenty twenty four membership cower bugs. The ones without the roof rack and the um, the luggage on the roof. So these are my absolute favourites. If there's one thing of the cower bugs that I didn't like uh, in the previous releases, it was the roof rack. Um, I, I might be alone in that in that uh, criticism. Uh, I just felt that. One 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 version with the roof, roof rack might have been okay, but they seem to make all of them with them. These were the first ones without. I like the Spectre from Flame Green. Uh, really nice, really nice little model. Um, it comes with the uh, I kept the patch, so that little circle gear shift logo is the patch for this year, and then there's the the pin that you get every year as well. That features the membership core. Um, I'll link my my membership core video uh, uh, just uh, up top there, and you can go, go and have a look at at the previous ones from the previous years. Uh, last couple of years, I must say the, the they've done well with the membership cars. Um, starting with that, probably that orange Mustang, the Boss three hundred two. Um, they had well, I mean they had that purple. Uh, Nissan Skyline GTR. So I mean, that's that was a banger. Um, the Cobra R from last year that was pretty good as well. Um, the, uh, the the Blue Skyline, the the, the 2000 GT one uh, was was pretty good. Um, so yeah, they've, they've actually built up quite a quite a good record last couple of years. So good picks, good execution, uh, like these. I'm glad to have picked up two. Um, this. The reason I or why I tried for two is because of that whole mix-up, uh, the whole RLC, um, uh, the what's that payment gateway that they use? Um, anyway, the name escapes me now. Um, that was more or less the cause of all of the issues that I've had with the RLC drops this year. Is is uh, is the 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 account that I use to the account that that my RLC is registered to email address is not the same as what that payment gateway has registered for my account, and that's where the mix up um, uh, started. Um, so I ended up getting a call per account uh, while only actually having one active uh, Fredline Club membership. Now that's changed um, in the meantime, but when I did the the, the order for these two. I had on one account because they mixed it up, and they, they I mean the mess up was on the on their side. Um, I had a receipt for a membership payment on one account, and then that entry on the membership or on the account tab that says you have got an active membership that I had on the other account. So on one account it shows that I paid for a for, for membership, and on the other one it actually shows the membership. So I was waiting for one of these to get cancelled, and in the end they they shipped both. So. You win some, you lose some. This, in, in my case, this was the winner. Uh, what's I don't actually know what the last small box. Oh, uh, okay. So this is more. It's not Metal Creations or RLC, but still off the official site. Yes, this I've been waiting for for a while. Uh, there we go. You read the the model number at the bottom there, the Porsche nine one seven. 
this is the Zamac edition. So this is the first Zamac uh, that the uh, the first series that they did the Zamac version. Uh, so this is series six. Uh, series seven um, has also shipped, and then series eight is now available to purchase. Um, so they in each of them in the last three series they have this Zamac car. Uh, which you, uh, when they started, with, with in, in, in this one's case, I think you, if you bought, bought the premium pack where you get a guaranteed a redeemable, um, I think every, like every second pack had a Zamac. So, so they were distributed, uh, quite, quite thickly. So I think that, I think the, the ratio has changed a bit. Um, but this so far is probably the better one of the, of the three that's, that's been released to date. The next one was, uh, I think the Chevy panel and the one that you can get now is the McLaren. You can, uh, uh, I'll post pictures of both. But yeah, uh, this um, being more vintage racer fan, this, this obviously is more up my alley. Um, and I didn't mind that the odds were that high that I would get one in a premium pack. Um, I didn't like the other cars that much that I would have minded. I would have liked the uh, the other Porsche in the series, the red one, uh, but that's about it. Um, I think this this would have been second prize at at, at the very worst. So yeah, Zamac edition NFT redeemable. So this becomes the fourth one in my NFT redeemables uh, collection. The fifth one uh, is on the way. It's just been 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 shipped out. Um, and yeah, I'll, I'll feature that in a future video. Also a Porsche. I've seen pictures of people getting these in hand uh, during the last couple of days. They look brilliant. Um, there's no regrets uh, on, on this side. Uh, really, really looking nice. But this one, yeah, good, good, cool premium of the, the 917. Love it. Like, like how it matches with the card art uh, as well. Some of the NFTs, the cards don't really match the, the background, but, but the background is whatever that sub-series is um, on the little video clips that you see. So some of them match, some of them don't match up uh, that well. So that's, that's the latest NFT. And then um, just as a sort of an, uh, an added extra, um, I've got one of these. I don't know. If some of you may have seen these before, the, the previous ones. Um, they released these uh, sets of protectors, but it's sort of a uh, sort of a collector's um, box or bundle. Uh, so you get yeah, so there's the uh, on the uh, on the box. There's the little uh, explanation. It says uh, it says Hot Wheels Elite 64 clamshell and track pack. Uh, so what the the previous ones were the standard size. These are the the larger, like like I just showed the what the Porsche shipped in. Uh, so this is your sort of premium size, your wider um, uh, clamshell protectors. These are the official Hot Wheels protector pack uh, protectors. Um, and I I did buy uh, the the previous set that had the the standard size. Um, it has sort of a limited edition track piece. Um, well, I'll show you in a minute. I'll, I'll, I'll open it up now. Um, actually, um, I actually regret not getting more of the previous size because uh, since I since I got it last time, uh, and that was a good couple of years ago, probably about four years ago. Since then, I have had um, issues with damaged protectors shipped from Mattel at, at the NFTs specifically. A lot of them are bent. In the little white box as they sh as they're packaged, um, I've obviously had that um, that warping or that mel melted protector on on the purple GTR. So uh, there's a couple of instances where I oh and the the mailing cars. A lot of the ma mailing cars or the ones that I have at least uh, come very scuffed up. Um, so I don't know that they they're very heavy handed. I, I suppose uh, if the cars are produced in in, in big numbers. Um, so yeah, I've, I've got this one. I think there are 10 protectors in this in this uh, pack. They're still on the website and you can go and check it out. Um, you might need to scroll down a bit. Um, it, ha it, it has been in the store for a while. 
Uh, they tend not to stay in there forever. Uh, so if you do need like larger size ones, um, grab them now before they're gone. Um, so yeah, let me let me open up the box and we can uh, just quickly have a look at if that track piece. I don't remember from the pictures whether or not this track piece differs uh, from the other one. The other one was was like just like a black and orange, uh, predominantly black. Uh, track piece and um, now it's about the same. Yeah, it looks the same. Um, so it's just that you get like a Hot Wheels collectors. See it in the light. It doesn't really put in front of my face. Um, it comes with the little track connectors as well. Okay. Other one was exactly the same. Uh, the I have seen a different color one somewhere. Um, might be in a diff different um, in a different box. I don't know what what I would have seen that also had these track pieces. But anyway, oh maybe maybe uh, maybe in one of the legends to it backs. And then otherwise they just look like this. That's a just a pack of ten uh, uh, protectors. Um, so I thought, um, you know, it's it's nice to have some of your more premium stuff or your more highly valued stuff in official protectors. It just just creates a nicer a nicer look. Um, for the rest, um, I get all of my protectors from from Rudy, the local guy, um, and and I'm happy with with his pro uh, product. Uh, for everything else, but just every now and again, you, you do get a nicer. Uh, I use this as an example. Featured this a couple of couple of episodes ago. My first um, car culture chase. So if I take this out of this protector, you can now you can now pop them into like a really official looking protector. It fits. It is not the, the two-piece uh, like Rudy makes them. Uh, it is the clamshell, so it does fold. So there is a bit of a bit of a ridge down the end. And there you go. There's your car culture super chase in a brand new official protector pack. And then new and shiny. And it's a it's a, uh, it's a good look. I like it. Might pick up another another few, uh, especially for the. Um, I also thought maybe for the autographed vintage racing cars. I don't have that many, so another another pack like this would 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 do me for the next couple of years. Um, I, I don't I don't intend on um, being, picking up too many more of them. So I think I do only have like ten in total. So. Uh, I can put all of the autographed ones in these, and um, and yeah, if you've got a but what else I have here that um, I'm sure I'll find some, <laughs> something to fill these with. But yeah, so um, yeah, those are the protector packs. This is what they look like. Uh, you get the track piece with um, actually yeah. If if you do, uh, I mean. Why I say I regret not getting more of the previous one is if you go on eBay now and start and, and look for these, nobody's selling them anymore. And if you do find somebody that, that sells it, they go for a bunch. So it's, I don't know, it's, I've seen people, uh, trying to sell theirs for like a hundred or 150 bucks upwards, which is absolutely crazy. I mean, they're $15 on the, on the site. Go get some. Yeah, you won't regret it. Just, even if you just stash them away. So that's it. That's the desk looks a bit worse than than before. But uh, yeah, those are the packages from Mattel for this week. Um, I will get to the trade next week. Um, yeah, and then there's going to be some more stuff arriving probably in an, in the next month or so, um, also from Mattel. Uh, but those will be a little bit more a little bit more random, um, and and. Uh, yeah, I look forward to that. Okay, you have a good week. Keep safe, keep well. See you again next week. Cheers.